Yesterday, we encountered a Jewish historian who, figuratively speaking, threw a spanner into the works of our carefully constructed argument that Jesus was born during the Jewish Feast of Tabernacles. The Feast of Tabernacles is an autumn feast and commemorates the desert wanderings of God's people after their exodus from Egypt. If the division of the priest were weekly rather than fortnightly, then Zechariah would have been serving in the temple in spring or autumn. This date allows for the fact that the Jewish year followed the lunar cycle of 29 and a half days. If, on the other hand, the divisions had been fortnightly, as they were originally, then he would have been one of the serving priests during late June or early July. It is this dating that leads us to the Feast of Tabernacles for the birth of Jesus. As it is, we celebrate Christmas at the end of the year. If the priestly families served in addition to their normal duties at the three main Jewish festivals, as we heard yesterday, Zechariah would have been in the temple during the Feast of Tabernacles, when the angel appeared to him. This would place the birth of Jesus at around the time we celebrate this glorious event on the 25th of December. One of the early church fathers, John Chrysostom, Bishop of Constantinople, supported this date, which was adopted and celebrated by the church in AD 336. An early citation, an early Christian citation states that this day, December the 25th, 336, is the first recorded celebration of Christmas. Birthdays were not celebrated as a rule in the time of Jesus, except the birthday of the Roman Emperor. But whatever, but whatever, this date doesn't sit well with the shepherds being in the fields looking after their flocks by night, which is not usual even in the milder climes of Palestine when it is cold and wet at that time of year. But is there another reason why Christmas is celebrated on the 25th of December? The reason for celebrating Christmas on this day has been noted by a BMS colleague of mine with a deep interest in the subject. He writes as follows. What led to a widespread acceptance of a celebration of the 25th of December was that it coincided with the old pagan celebration of the winter festival. Just after the shortest day of the year, in the Northern Hemisphere that is, when the hope of the coming summer was be being born again. This was also a time when two out of every three men in the Roman Empire were slaves among whom the gospel had great acceptance. The only day in the year granted as a holiday to the slaves was the 25th of December. And they had wanted to celebrate this as a Christian festival. This was their testimony that Jesus had changed their lives with the hope of God with them transforming the celebration of a carnival of debauchery into the celebration of the coming of the one who had changed their lives. And so the custom of celebrating Christ's birth on this particular day has become rooted in Christian tradition. Tomorrow we shall return to our conviction that Jesus was born during the Feast of Tabernacles that is between mid-September and mid-October. And we shall discover how the true miracle of Christmas is rightly celebrated on December the 25th. <laughs>